Hello guys, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem from Hebelostatics chapter 4. The problem says that the curved rod has a radius of 5 feet. If a force of 60 pound acts at its end is shown, determine the moment of this force about point C. So we have to find the moment of this force about that point C. So again, we can find the moment by using the cross product method. So the moment about point C of this force, this will be equal to the moment arm cross the dot and the cross product with that force F, Cartesian vector and this, this moment arm. So we can select the moment arm from point C to A or we can select the moment arm from point C to B. It's our choice. Both will give us the same answer. So we will do it in smart way. We will not select the moment arm or the position vector from C to A. We will select the position vector from C to D. If we consider the position vector from C to A, we have to find the components of this five feet. We have to find uh, this component. This is uh, five sine of 60 and we have to find this component. So that will, be, that will make our calculation complex. So for that, I will find, uh, I will find both the position vectors from uh, C to D. Uh, this is from C to D and we can have uh, this moment arm from C to A. I will find uh, this moment arm from C to A as well, but I will find the moment by finding the moment by using this uh, position vector from C to D. So the position vector from C to D, or we can say that this is equal to the position vector from C to A times the cross product of that force F. So we have to find the position vector from C to D, so the position vector from C to D. So the position vector from C to D can be determined by traveling from C along the X, Y and Z axis to reach that point D. So to reach that point D from C, we have to travel five feet in the negative Z, that is in the negative K. So I will write minus five K. So I will reach here and then from here, I have to travel this distance from here to here. So this distance is seven feet. So seven feet in the positive Y. So I will write seven feet in the positive J and then we will travel six feet in the positive X. So six feet in the positive I. So this is the position vector from C to D. So, and we have to find the Cartesian vector representation of that force F since it is the vector product. So before that, I'm going to find this position vector from C to A. So the position vector from C to A let me remove this first. So the position vector from C to A, to find the position vector from C to A, first of all, we have to travel this distance. And this is in the negative K. And this distance will be five feet minus this distance. So if this angle is 60 degree, then this is uh, five cos of 60. This is five cos of 60. So five minus five cos of 60. So we have to travel that distance. So five minus uh, 5 cos of 60 in the negative k. This, this is, uh, we have to travel this distance that is in the negative k. So then I will reach here and then I have to travel this distance. So this distance is, uh, if this is, if this angle is 60, then this is 5 sine of 60. So 5 sine of 60 in the, uh, in the positive j, right? So this is in the negative k. So I have to write minus and then this is 5 uh, sign of 60 in the positive J. So we will reach that point A. So there is no need to travel in the X direction. So that is zero I. So if we use the position vector from C to D, we, we, we will not uh, require this calculation, right? Five sine of 60 and five minus five cos of 60. So let me find it. This is zero I and five five sine of 60, this is 4.33 J and this is minus five minus five cos of 60. So this is 2.5 K minus 2.5 K. So this is the position vector from C to A. So now we can find the moment about point C uh, using this vector this position vector or uh, we can uh, find that moment about point A using this position vector. 
so the moment about point c is equal to this is i j and k and then we will write the components of this position vector from c to d so it is 6 i 7 j minus 5 k and then we have to find that force f cartesian vector so for, before doing this we have to find that force f vector so that force f vector will be equal to its magnitude so its magnitude is 60 times the unit vector from a to b since the force is acting from a to b and the unit vector from a to b is always the position vector from a to b divided by its magnitude so now we have to find the position vector from a to b so to find the position vector from a to b we have to travel along x y and z to reach that point b so we have to travel this distance so this is if this is 5 then this is 5 cos of 60 and then we have to travel this distance so this distance is this 7 feet this is 7 feet minus this distance which is 5 sine of 60 this distance is 5 sine of 60 so 7 minus 5 sine of 60 so this is in the positive y and then 6 feet in the positive k so this is f so 60 and from a we have to travel 5 cos of 60 in the negative z direction that is in the negative case so i will write minus 5 cos of 60 in the negative k then 7 minus 5 sine of 60 first let me find this 7 minus 5 sine of 60 this gives us 2.669 so this is we can say that this is 2.67 so we have to travel 2.67 distance in the positive y direction that is in the positive j so plus 2.67 in the positive j and then 6 feet in the positive x that is in the positive i so 6i and 5 5 cos of 60 gives us 2.5 so this is 2.5 this is 2.5 k and then we have to find its magnitude so this magnitude will be 6 square plus 2.67 square plus 2.5 square and then we will take the square root this is 6 square plus 2.67 square plus 2.5 square this gives me 7.027 so this is approximately 7.027 let me write this is 7.027 and now if I divide this 60 by this magnitude so 60 divided by that answer that gives me 8.538 so let me write this is 8.54 and now if I multiply this, this is 8.54 8.54 we will multiply this with each component of the position vector from A to B so this is 8.54 multiplied by 6 this gives me uh, 51.24 this is 51.24 i then multiply with 2.67 so multiply by 2.67 this gives me 22.80 j and then multiply by minus 2.5 so minus 2.5 that will give us minus 21.35 so 21. 35k so this is the cartesian vector representation of that force f of magnitude 60 pounds which is acting from a to b the units are in pounds now we have to put these components in this matrix so that is 51 this determinant so this is 51.24 22.80 and minus 21.35 so now this moment about point c this will be equal to again we have to consider this as plus i minus j plus k and then we have to hide this and this so this is 7 into this 7 into minus 21.35 minus this uh, minus 5 into 22.80 into that positive i and then this we have to hide this that is minus j minus j into this 6 into this and multi minus this so minus minus 5 into 51.24 
and then plus key is plus key we will hide this we will hide this column so that is plus key and 6 into 22.80 minus the 7 into this 7 into 51.24 uh, now we can calculate uh, these one by one using calculator but I am going to use my excel sheet for finding the determinant. So I will put this matrix here that is uh, 6, 7, minus 5 and then this is 51.24 and 22.80 and minus 21.80. 3, 5. So this gives us this gives us uh, minus 35.45 i minus 128.10 j and minus uh, 221.81 k. So minus minus 35.45. Let me write M C minus 35.45 i then minus 128.10j and then minus 221.88k. So this is the moment of this 60 pound force which is acting from A to B about that point C. Now again if I use this position vector, so then we will modify uh, this determinant according to that position vector from C to A. So from C to A, the components is 0i, so I have to write this as 0, then this is 4.33, this is 4.33, and then this is minus 2.5, so I will write this as minus 2.5. So now I will find this determinant using my Excel sheet again, so that is 0, this is 0, uh, my, uh, this is 4.33 and minus 2.5. So that gives us again that uh, minus uh, 35.45 compare it with this we can compare it with this uh, this result this is minus 35.45 minus 128.10 and minus 221.87 so it is approximately equal to that same moment that we have determined about point C using the position vector from C to D so this is the moment about point C which was required and the units are since the force is in pounds and the distances are in feet so the units of the moment is pound feet. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy if you haven't done it yet.